Hello guys, you know what? I realized I never posted my word of the year for this year. I thought I did back in January. I totally thought I did till I went to, I was going back through the videos for something and noticed, wait a minute, where is that? Not there. I don't know if I accidentally deleted it. I don't know if I filmed it and deleted the file and it never got uploaded. I don't know, but it ain't there. And I realized we're at the end of March as of filming this. And yeah, if I'm going to post it, I should probably post it. So last year was the first year that I've done this word of the year thing. And last year's word was perseverance. And Boy, did I ever choose an apropos word to serve me as a mantra through last year. Last year was one of the most difficult years of my entire life. Just, honest to God, worst years ever. Um, it kind of went from bad to worse as the year progressed. Kind of hit a breaking point in November. Uh, something that I haven't shared with you guys, well, a couple of you guys know about it, but... Something happened that was really, really, really bad, that the writing was on the wall, that it was going to happen for frigging months before it happened, and then it happened. And I'm still navigating the legal system and pursuing justice about it. Um, but once again, thanks California, once again, just like the other times this has happened to me, I am being largely failed by the systems that are in place. So, ain't that cute? But, needless to say, without going into detail about what went down, uh, I kind of went off the deep end. Like, really, really badly. Understandably. Uh, was about this close to peacing out on everything, and honestly, if it is corny as this sounds, if it weren't for you guys, I probably would have. I genuinely did not want to do that to you guys. So I persevered through it, and I'm glad that I didn't act on that now. And I'm glad that I'm still here, but I'm understandably still very, very much dealing with the whole emotional ramifications of that thing, as well as still being damn determined to seek justice on this one. I am not going to just go, <laughs> why is nobody fucking helping me? I did all the things that I needed to do. Why is no one helping me? I did everything right, and I am freaking on this one. I'm not going to rest until I actually get them to see it through this time. Anyway, um, so I thought about what would be an appropriate word for this year that will hopefully serve me as well as Perseverance did last year. Part of me was like, maybe I should just reuse the same word for this year and just call it a day, but I was like, no. We'll, we'll give it something unique, but kind of in the same vein as Persevere. I had a few, I had a few words that I thought long and hard about this, about what would make for a good mantra word to keep in mind and see me through everything good and bad throughout the year. And I settled on courage because frankly, that is what I need to be. I need to be uh, brave and courageous this year. Like really, really much so. So that is my word for this year, even if we're a couple months late on announcing it to you guys, but, you know, bends the brakes. I, like I said, I could swear I remember filming this. I just must have accidentally hit delete on the video without realizing it, or maybe, I don't know. There's like a million things that could have happened to the file, honestly, between point A and point B, but I remember sitting down and recording it. That's why I'm like, I checked that whole folder. It's not there. <laughs> why is it not there? I checked my channel. It's not there either. <laughs> So, we're refilming it. I feel like I had a lot more to say the first time around, but here it is. So, that is my word for this year, and boy, I've been leaning heavily on it and will be continuing to lean heavy on it. Um, plus, I mean, by choosing courage, it gives me an excuse to buy a Wizard of Oz courage prop. So, <laughs> as a visual reminder that I will stick on my damn wall to see every day as a reminder. Yeah, no, you're you're stronger than you think you are. So anyway, 
there's that. Do any of you guys do the whole word of the year thing, either publicly or privately? If so, what did you choose for this year? And if you're comfortable with sharing why you picked it, leave that in the comments down below too, because frankly, I'm nosy like that, and I'm curious. <laughs> so, yeah, again, apologies that this is hitting so late. I legitimately thought this was up and isn't, and I don't know what happened to it, but it's here now. <laughs> Not in its original form, but it's here now. <laughs> So, take it or leave it, but anyways, uh, that is it for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.